Chapter 12 Verbs Verbs are words that show action. Every sentence must have a verb. A verb is not always one word. It may be made up of more than one word. There are mainly two types of verbs. Transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. Transitive verb the verb which needs an object to make its meaning clear or complete is called a transitive verb. For example, he feeds a cat. The word cat is called the object of the verb feeds. The object can be a noun or a pronoun. Intransitive verb. The verb which does not need an object but the meaning is clear or complete is called an intransitive verb. For example, he ran. The verb ran does not need an object. She reads every day. No object. He eats quickly. No object. Finite verb. Finite verb shows agreement with the subject. It changes according to the subject. The subject is the person, thing, animal or place we refer to. When the subject is in the first or second person or is plural, the verb does not change. When the subject is in the third person or is singular, the verb changes. Every sentence must have a finite verb. Subject Singular subject Plural subject First person I eat We eat Second person you eat. You eat. Third person. He eats. They eat. Third person. She eats. They eat. Third person. It eats. They eat. The pen or pens. The pen is. The pens are. The elephant, the elephants. The elephant does, the elephants do. The house or the houses. The house has, the houses have. The infinitive. The infinitive is a verb that is followed by to and does not change with the subject. Subject, singular subject. Plural subject. First person. I want to play. We want to play. Second person. You want to play. You want to play. Third person. He wants to play. They want to play. She wants to play. They want to play. It wants to play. They want to play. The infinitive can take on an object. For example, he likes to read book. To read is infinitive, book is object.